Okay, let's take a look at what's going on here. This is Audio Bus, and this is the All Multi Track. Audio Bus is going to allow us to route the IK Oscillator and the IMS20 through the All Multi Track. Let's start from scratch by first opening Audio Bus, then select Multi Track. Wake up sleeping multi track. Let's set the tempo to 127 so everything's in sync. Super! Let's select Audio Bus, then the box underneath, so we can assign the IMS20 and IK Oscillator using Audio Bus. Let's wake up the IMS20, and then look for the IK Oscillator. All this swishing around is happening automatically, okay? Great, both Korg instruments are set. Now, in this environment of the DAW multi-track, let's play the IK oscillator. And let's check out the IMS-20. Are you ready to record? All right then, let's disarm the IK oscillator and let's keep the IMS-20 armed to record. I'm pressing record and play, followed by pressing play on the IMS-20. Woohoo, fancy. Okay, I'm gonna fast forward. Paradise, let's record the IK oscillator. Disarm the IMS-20 and arm the IK oscillator. One, two, three, and... Oops, off beat. Note, Audio Bus automatically made a channel for both Korg instruments. Beautiful, let's take a look at editing. I'm using two fingers to scroll and expand. Press and hold where I want to edit and drag to where it says slice. Let's press hold, drag and erase. And now let's press hold, drag and edit to move audio file. Beautiful. Now watch me edit one more time to build my arrangement. Hold, slice, select, hold, erase, play from top. Production note, off camera I moved audio files to lock into the multi-track grid, you see? I would normally align first audio file to bar 1 so the rest of the song is in order. This is why setting the tempo at the start is very important. Okay my friends, in closing let's check out a bit of the original session. Feel free to ask questions and please give me some tips too.